What's up guys, all the Outer Haven? My name is William, also known as Shadows, and I'm here with Lindsay Jones of Ruby. Hi. And of Barbara Dunkelman of Yang Xiaolong. Thanks for having so, us, appreciate it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yes, I was just wondering, um, like, it has been quite a lot. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm about jumping on my coach. I can't talk. I can oh, speak, okay. I can speak. But I'm um, just wondering, how are you enjoying New York Comic Con so far? It's wonderful. This is my first time coming, actually. I've been to San Diego Comic Con, but not New York before. Mm. Love New York. I like visiting, but seeing this for the first time is surreal. It's awesome. Mm -mm -mm. And as you, Barbara? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we, we love coming to events and meeting fans and everyone who watches our shows, so it's mm. always an honor. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So, ladies, it has been quite a long journey for you to uh, many things has happened, including the unfortunate passing of Matum, rest is so. But I'm just wondering, how, like, no doubt about it, you've been continuing, how are you going to continue the style and flair that Matum had? Well, we like, mentioned a couple other interviews, and fans asked that as well. Like, mm -hmm. what do you plan on doing now that obviously Monty has passed? But mm -hmm. he he had seasons upon seasons of the show planned before we had even started any animation. None of the red trailer had been worked on yet, but he had all these ideas, and we're going to try and follow those guidelines as a plan for the next approaching season. So we think we'll stay true to his vision, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also have a lot of very talented animators and very talented people working at Rooster Teeth, so mm. I think, you know, they're obviously going to make something amazing. We've already seen some of the work, and it, I think that... They're going to do him proud. Mm -hmm. And yes. luckily, too, it's a lot of the same crew, Gray, right? made sure to have mm -hmm. the same people, so they're already familiar with the world. They're, they know what we want artistically. Mm -hmm. And I have no doubt about it that you're going to make him proud. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> on to much more, on to brighter things. Uh, this past August, I cannot be excited for you. I'm just geeking out because this past August, the, Jap the first Japanese trailer came out mm -hmm. for Ruby and... I cannot be more excited. At first, we have Saudi. We both. <laughs> first, we have Sari Hayami, Hayami, based of I personally known her from Sekiro from Musubi, voicing Ruby. Then you have Yoko Hikasa, probably one of the biggest names in in the Japanese biz of K on Fame and High School DxD. Uh, then we have Yushimura Shimamura, who voices Anne from Attack on Titan, and Barbara. I cannot be more excited for you. You have Ami Koshimizu, who of Killer Kill fame, Ryuko Matoi, and personally my favorite girl from Persona 4, Yukiko Amagi. I yeah. mean, just how was your reaction when you first saw the trailer? And are Deep you familiar with the yeah, basically. And, and how and like, are you familiar with the Japanese broadcast as well? Mm -hmm. uh, we've been fans of anime. I mean, specifically like Gray, Carrie, Miles, and I are huge anime nerds. Michael as well. <laughs> so when we got the cast list, we were freaking out. I mean, I've been fans of those people's work for years now and that's one reason why I wanted to go into anime voice acting. Mm -hmm. Ideally I wanted to go to Funimation originally and now mm -hmm. I get the chance to do so at Rooster Teeth. But to have people that I love that much voicing a character that I played originally mm -hmm. is just mind blowing. Ah, and what about you Barbara? Yeah, unfortunately I don't watch too much anime so I wasn't familiar with all the characters but I know all the shows that they're from and, and seeing the reaction of Lindsay and Grey, Miles and Carrie, <laughs> they're just like this is huge, you have no idea how big this is. And I'm just like, that's actually amazing that they got this cast for our show. Right, and like, I, you saw that part of your trailer, was like, ora, ora, ora. Yeah, yeah, apparently that's like a really famous thing, but yeah. I, maybe I need to learn how to do it for Yang in English. <laughs> ah, no, stay, stay the way you are, yeah. but maybe incorporate something. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, also, uh, another thing that also had happened recently is that you are also featured in the recent death battle, Yang versus Tifa Lockhart. I mean, yeah. how are you feeling, champ? I am feeling good. I'm ready for a battle against Tifa. I'm ready to kick her butt. Mm. We'll see what happens. I think it comes out October 21st. October so. 21st. And, to that. and I'm we'll saying as long as Tifa doesn't use her materia, I think Yang's fine. That's just me. <laughs> I can't wait. Can't wait. And also, like we also have new details in regards to the new Ruby game. Uh, is there anything you can share with us regarding to it? Actually, yeah. Barbara would know a little bit more about it, but it's going on to uh, Steam Greenlight on November 14th is when you can October vote. 14th. October 14th. I apologize. On Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, we're hoping to get the uh, game on Steam. We're putting on a green light so people could vote for it if they want to see it there, which I'm sure the fans will because they've never disappointed us before. Um, it's awesome. It's a play as all four girls right now, and I tried it out recently, and it's amazing. Oh, yeah. oh wow. But, yeah, we've been dabbling in the office a little bit. We actually get to see the development, obviously, in stages. So to see the progression of the game in itself as a gamer mm -hmm. and to now, again, be able to play a character that I voice is just very surreal. Yeah. Oh, I, I cannot wait. And of course, everyone has to, all the fans have to go and vote for this thing to be green lit. Yes? yes? Yes. So that's, so fans, definitely make sure make sure it's green lit. Yes? I love you, please do it. <laughs> and finally, if my last, just to round it up, is like, I'm just wondering, what's the plan, the future holding for Ruby? And like, what's the next plan for world domination? Ooh, uh, as far as Ruby, the show goes, uh, honestly, now we're breaking into the Asian market, which before was a little bit difficult for us just because of the nature of Rooster Teeth, uh, didn't really mesh well. But now we get the chance. I mean, we have fans who are in Hong Kong, 
uh, Korea, Japan, everywhere <laughs> now. And so ideally, I mean, we could do conventions there, try and build up that fan base. That's the future. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think Ruby especially is just going to keep going. And I'm hoping it's going to continue for a very, very long time. And we're going to just grow the world and grow all the characters and see where it goes. Mm. Here's to season 20. Yeah. Uh, that I cannot wait. <laughs> the college years. Yeah. <laughs> Monty, Ruby's in good hands. We missed you, buddy. So, and when's, when can we expect for volume three to come out? You would know. October 24th. Thank o you. October 24th. Be expecting it. So, so for everything that's happening, um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really bubbling up, but okay. overall is like, Lindsay, Lindsay and Barbara, thank you so much for your time. Thanks Just for continue us. the great work that you keep on doing, thank and I can't wait to see what happens in Ruby. Please so, so for everything that's happening in Rooster Teeth, Ruby, and New York Comic Con, keep it locked here on the Outer Haven. Bye, B.